Chapter 7 Rembrandt Paint Portrait of Jeremiah Lamenting Jerusalem in Destruction Solomon's Temple in Flame Rembrandt, a famous Dutch artist, a painter, printmaker and draftsman who won Golden Dutch Art Award in Amsterdam. His master's piece were displayed in Ritz Museum. He was a Protestant Catholic religiously devoted to God, not only walking in faith, but also painter of faith. He painted biblical events, historical pictures, landscaping, scenery, and portrait. Jeremiah was born and grew up in the village of Anathoth, northeast of Jerusalem. He came from a priestly family, his father, Hilkiah. Jeremiah was called by God to deliver a message of warning and a message of hope. It was a difficult task for this young prophet. But God said to Jeremiah, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I sanctify you, and I ordain you a prophet to the nations. God helped him to learn and grow from baby to adulthood. God prepared him to let the nation with coverage. Stammering and frightened what to say, God reassured and encouraged him till he has the confidence to speak. The people were stubborn, rejected God and worshipped false God. Jeremiah warned them, if they don't repent, judgment will fall on them. But they just ignore his message and wanted to kill him. They were deep in sin. Jeremiah didn't forsake his people. After his repeated warning, his prophecy came true. Jerusalem destroyed, and people lived in exile by the captivity of Babylonians. Unrepentant sin will bring disasters, destruction, and loss of lives. Turn to Jesus. He will forgive and restored broken hearts because he is the author of all life. Jeremiah's sorrowful image moves spectators' hearts. His grief appearance not only watched Jerusalem destruction, but emotionally he failed to convince the people. They did not listen to his prophecy. They rejected his spiritual message. The writer look at the disappointed pictures, reflects him on parenting offspring. When children grow up, make wrong choices, disbelieve, go wrong direction, these will also break their hearts. Jeremiah was only 17 years old when God called him. He is known as the weeping prophet because he cried tears of sadness, no matter how hard he persuaded. People would not listen. This bachelor and lonely prophet experienced rejection, depression, and discouragement in the walk with the Lord. Jeremiah hoped and prayed for mercy from God for Judah. We too must obey God even when it is difficult. Recognize God's will as more important than our own desires. Trusting God in His infinite wisdom and perfect plan will bring about the best for his children. Even God's heart felt the same. Sacrificing his only begotten son Jesus Christ for us to save us from the bondage of sins. But in return the world forsake and disobey him. So telling us don't take things for granted especially God. Don't practice habitual sin. Sin is incompatible in the law of God, nor seek treatment for repeated sin. Though God is merciful and compassionate, ever forgiving, never take for granted. This will grieve God's heart. Abiding in Christ, staying close to the source of life. Whoever abides in Him, does not sin. Whoever sins has neither seen him 
nor known him. Never take anything for granted. Learn to appreciate what you have before it's no longer yours to appreciate. Forever be thankful. Always be grateful. You will be abundantly blessed. Jeremiah's broken heart reflects on others also. Whose hearts are broken? Mother's heart when children gone astray. Prophet's heart when people don't listen to his words. God's heart when people reject salvation. The portrait of sadness not because Jerusalem burned, because the people hid his words. His message cannot convince them, so sin brings judgment and destruction. But there is a glimmer of hope in Christ. When people repent and come back to God, there will be mercy and restoration. From band, paint a glimmer of hope of the prophet. In dim light, the gold jewels and vessels sparkle, and the Bible where Jeremiah leans heavily on it with his weight. The Lord's covenant with his people is what holds this painting together. It is the hope that sustains the prophet. There is a glimmer of hope in Christ. Repentance, remorse, unhappy, sorrow, regret, guilty. Jeremiah's name in Hebrew means the Lord will restore, while the nearby destruction may give him the appearance of despair. His hope in the Lord remains steadfast. In Jeremiah 30 verse 17, For I will restore health to you, and I will heal your wounds, says the Lord. Trusting God when you are struggling, overcoming obstacles to faith. To remain steadfast in Christ is to continually realigning with Christ in faith. We cannot do better by trying harder. We need constant connection with Jesus to live out the gospel. The writer reminds us to remain steadfast in our faith, even in time of suffering and pain. For in Christ, there is hope. Every tall tree began as a tiny seed. Every great victory withstood a tumultuous storm. Every mighty miracle vanished a terrible problem. Keep your faith and remain steadfast. In Christ, there will be a ray of hope. Shalom. Have a blessed day.